Hello there, everybody, and how's it going? My name is Haruna, and welcome to this very important and somewhat of a stretchy type of update video because there's going to be quite a couple of things to unpack, and there's going to be something at the very end that I'm going to basically be playing off just to kind of do something, but um, it's not going to be perfect, just like every time I do an update video. But um, to get into the main mode of what I want to talk about, so as you can tell already from the rebranding or the rename that I did these past couple of days or so, but um, basically wise, um, if you just came into this channel from my Guardians Crusade, uh, Grisaya, Frogun, Densetsu Yuna, Frogun, Kets Quest, whatever run through I did, uh, mostly I just want to say hello there everybody and welcome to the channel. But um, now to get on to the main, 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 main topic that I kind of want to talk about. So basically wise, as of October the 3rd, 2023, it is currently 5.26 p.m. I've recorded this update video a total of five times in the spam of this past week because every time I fuck it up somehow. But um, now to get into the main point I want to look at. So basically wise, as I've said, and as you can tell from the channel name itself, I'm officially am rebranding slash rebooting this channel to a new alternative name, which basically wise is this one, Gobos Games, or mostly Gobos to say the least. Now, as you can tell, it's a little bit of a different format, or it's gonna be the same format to say the least. But as you can tell, it's a little bit more um, stylized, to say the least, to kind of kind of get it off the pace. Um, as you can tell, that our profile picture has somewhat changed dramatically. Um, the profile picture that I'm utilizing, as you can see right here, I used a program called Vroid Studios. It's one of the things that I worked with during my, I think it was like maybe the two weeks, last two weeks or so, not last two weeks, like in the, mostly in the middle of September, to say the least, like trying to learn how to use Vroid Studios, which is kind of funny because I actually downloaded Blender because it kind of looked interesting, but then realizing I do not know how to fucking use Blender to create a character. So um, I decided to stick with Vroid Studios, which honestly got the, the profile picture that I created really is an interesting one to say the least. I kind of like it. But yeah, um, so yeah, once again, uh, officially am rebranding to a new channel. Um, it's still the same content that you're going to be getting from Chromostasis, but it's going to be just a little bit more weirder to say the least. And as you can tell, uh, the banner itself, we're now utilizing a banner. Um, utilize Canva.com for that one. P pretty slick to say the least. But um, as you can tell, like uh, the home of professional Let's Play content, now, um, I will say the professional was is completely intentional. Intentional? Intentional? I don't really know the correct meaning anymore. Um, I used to major in English. But um, to get into the main point here, so yeah, as you can tell, like again, I'm officially am rebranding. The channel itself will be debuting in the beginning months of January. And to kind of give you that a little bit more of that hope to see the least that it will be coming as, you will, as I will move my screen or I'll be moving it over to the next part right here. So as you can tell right now, we have a couple of videos right now ready to go. Most of these are already scheduled. All of them are basically ready to go right here, as you can tell. Um, I'm not gonna scroll too much down because that's also revealing some other things to say the least that isn't really ready, but, or they're ready, but I've been, I have it unlisted because of the last minute changes. So uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, you might be wondering, why did I decide to do this rebooting, rebranding process when the channel started to take just a little bit of a a turn for something. So yeah, um, the uh, main reason for why I decided to reboot the channel basically comes down to the fact that the storage device that I had at the time basically got corrupted and uh, I lost a grand total of everything. And uh, what was included in that, basically that storage device was all of the, was basically all of my, what's it called? I had all the game files for all the games that were ready, or all the games that I had, basically, which really uh, isn't too much of a loss, to say at least, because I could always reinstall Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War for an entire day and then get to play it the next day. Um, love my internet connection. But um, basically it was that, but uh, that's basically the joke right there. Um, the three things that were mostly, well, actually two of them were more important than the third one because of things. But the thing that was the most important that I lost was my OBS a folder that I had called OBS Raw Recordings. Now, what was in that Raw Recordings that included a shit ton of garbage, to say the least, which was like a lot of stuff. Um, and what I mean by garbage, I mean like I never got a chance to fully clean out that like folder of like the stuff that I recorded before 
and after the vacation thing. But um, now to get down to the main point, uh, basically I lost everything there. And the main thing that was basically lost was roughly around 20 to 30 hours worth of Grisaya content. Um, in addition to that, six to seven hours worth of Dead Space 2023 and three to five hours worth of three to five hours worth of Parasite Eve, which really the Parasite Eve can be re can be recovered. The Dead Space 2023 also could be recovered, but the thing that kind of destroyed it was the Grisaya was the Grisaya loss because there was a lot of like progression that I made at the game point to the point where I feel like we could have reached the end. But um, yeah, um, but yeah, basically, wise like I said, I have decided out of my own volition to reboot the channel to say the least. Um, and I did say there was another thing that was going to be lost or the other thing that was completely not necessary anymore because uh, it was a folder called YouTube Uploads, which really, I didn't really had, which I really didn't mind it because everything was already uploaded beforehand. So that thing was already kind of fine as it is, but it was mostly the raw recordings as well as the backup save files, which I don't think I mentioned. So yeah, uh, mostly I never utilized the Steam uh, sync data because it might have it might you know, sometimes screws with the thing that I want to do, in case like something happens that I had to stop the recording at some point, which has happened a good two to three times. Um, I utilize a backup save file to kind of like put it back to where it was, and then there you go. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I also lost, which really did suck because I think uh, I had a lot of backup save files for. Um, Kids Quest in case if something happens, Fro Gun in case that happened. Grisaya never really. Uh, which I think was my somewhat smaller issue, but that's uh, a later point. But yeah, um that's all I can mostly kind of muster for the time being for that. But yeah, um mostly again I lost everything from that hard drive failure and uh, basically I was left to two options and these two options were to basically Reboot the channel, rebrand, which, honest to God, I was thinking about it for quite some time. And option B, try to salvage what I can and try to bring as much as I can. Like, maybe forego the October schedule and maybe kind of bring you guys to November. But I didn't want it to give that much of a wait period time. And considering the stress that I was given, or the stress I was basically given at the time, um, I decided to, once again, like, rebrand myself to a new channel. So yeah, um, like I said, this channel itself is currently in the process of going. Like I mentioned, the videos are basically ready to go. Um, everything is basically set up as it is. Now, the one thing I'm going to show you guys right now, and this is going to be a kind of the fun thing, is going to be the new format of our scheduling, which basically, going over to the schedule right now. So basically, as you can see right now, we still keep that same old uh, modem that I kept from, this ch from my Chromastasis channel itself. I'm now referring to the Gobos channel now. <laughs> um, so basically, we still keep the 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and the 12 p.m. slot. But as you can tell from the schedule, we also now include a 1 p.m. slot, which is, will now be the home of the bonuses or ledge tries. So basically now, um, and I kind of like this format just a little bit more better. It looks a little bit more organized and a little bit more better. Um, so basically, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you'll be getting the RPGs, which, again, you can tell from what the games will be right now. And I'll get a chance to also play a little bit of that and maybe something that's coming out after some of those projects. Keep that in mind. So yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday will be Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth 1, a fun way to kind of like get a rebirth or a re reborn type of thing on the channel. Uh, Wednesday and Saturday will be Gears of War, a semi-blind playthrough because I immediately screwed up my original run-through of the game because of uh, hiccups and errors on my end, so it's a completely a semi-blind run-through. Uh... Our 11 a.m. slot is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, which will still remain as our classic retro or indie puzzler slot. Um, on our Monday, Wednesday, Friday slot, we will have Crash Bandicoot once again because I really have a Crash fever that I can never stop playing the original Crash Bandicoot. Um, I, I, I hope to God that I do not make Crash 2 as long as it should have been compared to what I did on this, on this channel. Maybe longer, I'll be honest. But um, yeah, Crash Bandicoot, that's, I've already finished that game already. It's like, I beat that game already like five times in this past fucking month or so. Shit. Um, but as you can tell, we had, there's a little bit of different games, like I said, with Neptunia as well as Gears of War. 
our our indie puzzle for our 11 a.m. slot for our Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday is going to be Cave Story, Dokutsu Monogatari. And you'll see just, a little, and I'll play a little bit of that intro in the video itself. But as you can tell, our 12 p.m. slot is not the bonuses or Let's Try videos. Instead, it's actually something a little bit different. So including in our 12 p.m. slot on our Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, um, I've been thinking about these things in the past couple of days that I might not even utilize that Sunday slot anymore. Maybe just keep it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Just to kind of like balance the scheduling so it's like three videos you get, but I don't truly know right now. It's still all in beta phase. It could potentially change. It might not change. I might just be very lazy at some point, but we'll see. I talk way too fast to say the least. So yeah, um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and maybe Sunday, you'll be getting Vampire Survivors, a little fun of a bullet hell roguelike game that, I'll be honest, I've recorded 20 parts already. I haven't gotten them all uploaded yet, but the game is really fucking addictive, so I'll leave it at that. And then as you can tell, our Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday will be Muse Dash, an interesting rhythm game to say the least. I will say that I am not aiming for a full completionist like one of my like favorite content creators, Just One Gamer. Um, that's going to be completely me trying my damn just to see what I can do. So like there'll be some videos that you'll see me get a full combo, and there'll be some videos that won't be getting a full combo to say the, to say the least. But uh, yeah, um, and the one thing I will point out, and I'm not going to showcase it in this schedule in this video because it's still in the works for right now, is that this is just one part of my schedule. So basically on this channel, or like what I did on this channel is that once Gears of War done, I did a visual novel, which would basically take like four to five, six months at this point, which really is something I don't want to do anymore. So what I'm going to be doing with this new channel to say the least, so I'm going to use my new profile picture if I get it right. Yeah. So now I'm going to use the new profile picture. So basically wise, what I want to do for this formatting is to do a rotational cycle with the channel. So basically, with the month of January, you're gonna be getting Gears of War, and then once that game done, is gonna be finished, which will be on that month, you'll be getting a different game, like, um, I don't know, Stray. A very unique double-A uh, title that I did actually stream a while ago on the, on the channel. You'll be getting Stray for like maybe two episodes because that's gonna be kind of wrapping up January. Then once January ends and we get to February, I'm not going to be covering Stray anymore in that month. Instead, the beginning of whatever day, the 1st of February, whatever was the first Saturday or Wednesday of February, whatever day it is, which uh, to my knowledge, fucking burped from a popcorn, is the 3rd of February. Instead of getting another Stray episode, you're going to be getting at the beginning of a visual novel game, which I have recorded already. And it's I will tell you right now, it is not. Uh, uh, Grisaya right now. That's going to be later. But um, basically, wise, that's going to be the visual novel that's going to be occupying that. As well as, uh, I'm going to be bringing back that schedule over there t from here too, which is going to be Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that's also going to eclipse our... It's not going to... I was going to say eclipse. It's not going to eclipse the whatever Sunday slot would be. Um, I'm going to kind of keep... the. I'm going to kind of push the... Let's say it's Crash Bandicoot still continues. So Crash Bandicoot will go at 11... Um, Cave Story will go at 12, and then the 1 p.m. slot will be the Vampire Survivors. Because I don't tend to use the bonus to let tries on the weekends. So, basically that's something I'm working with right there. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's mostly all the things I kind of need to mostly get off my chest. Because really, uh, everything is kind of straightforward as it is. Uh, all the content, as, uh, as you can tell right now from when I showed you that little preview... Everything has already been pre-recorded already. Um, I can tell you right now that the new uh, the new storage device that I have currently, and I gotta remember to maybe make or create a backup, which was the main concern. I currently have behind the scenes right now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen projects right now. I will tell you, some of them are finished. But I have not got a chance to delete any of them quite yet. So, uh, yeah. Um, basically, wise, once again, I will see you guys over at GoBalls Games because I will continuously try to live stream as much as I can over there. Um, it's going to be a little bit better so I can live stream more in the afternoons because of my recent decision to move from my day shift at my work to the sunrise shift. And, uh, yeah. 
Um, some things I'm still working the kinks out with the scheduling format. So to bring it back again, what I want to do too, because like I said, I'm going to be doing a like a and it, like the visual novel rotation with the main with the main stuff I'll be doing over there in like February and April. Um, what I also want to do because Vampire Survivors and Mew Dash and Mew Dash are also quite pretty longish to say the least, because I'm gonna play all the characters and all that great stuff. What I'm going to do with those projects too is doing is also to do a rotational at the months. So like you could get Vampire Survivors now and then I don't know. Um, Maybe uh, Hatsune Miku Project Diva Mega Mix, which that should be fun. Seeing how I play Mega Mix, to say the least. Um, everything's still nonsense, still. Like I said, even though I have the schedule already, there's going to be still changes I'm going to be doing and everything to kind of like, you know, get everything set up because that's what everything is right now, trying to finish everything up. Because uh, in terms of like the channel backlogging right now, processing, to switch it back over to a new formatting. Um, currently, I'm at the 80% mark for January because there's still just a couple of more videos that still need to get uploaded and recorded. And then February is uh, currently the RPG slot is really good. I've already recorded the next RPG already or I'm already recording the next one right now as well as finishing up the last leggings of Neptunia as well as basically whatever it is. So yeah, um, that's going to be something I'm working with as well as uh, the side projects as well as like Vampire Survivors and Muse Dash, which Muse Dash doesn't really take that much of a priority because it's not that even along with the games. Like I'll be honest, it's like less than five minutes, so that's something. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically all I can say right now. And how I want to end this video right now is to basically play a couple of the games that I'll be doing, or not play, like play a couple of the intros for the games I'll be playing over there and include some games that I have recorded that has yet to be made public quite yet. So. Um, with that being said and done, I will hope to see you guys over at the Gobos Games channel, which I am currently working on a channel trailer, and I have no clue when it's going to be recorded, because I'm still working on a script. Finalizing it. All I can say right now. So yeah, um, hope you guys did enjoy, and uh, yeah, uh, I will start, I will turn off my mic, and I will quickly play what you guys are going to be expecting over there in the beginning of January, and maybe a little bit into February. So until then... I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes, or not really in a couple of minutes. I don't know why I said that, but I'll see you guys in the channel over there and maybe for a live stream. But now I've been talking for way too much.
For a time, the humans of Serra knew the illusion of peace. Until... Emergence Day. In time, their valiant defense was crushed with billions dead. Humans denied their enemy control by destroying their own civilization. Now, the long struggle against overwhelming odds approaches a final, desperate stand. It all started so simply. I had just finished my usual morning routine of nude funker size, fired up the Barca lounger, grabbed a quick bite to eat, and prepared to watch some serious tube. Little did I know, my snack was sent by Red. Yeah. <laughs> 